Hey gamers, what's up? Muzz here from L1 Games with another store update. Thought I'd drop a quick video, let you know what's going on, what's happening around here, how things are going, and all that good stuff. So, before I start, I do want to say, if you like this video, please remember to click the like button. Do subscribe if you haven't already, and hit that bell icon so you get updates for future videos. You can also check me out on Twitter, at L1 Games, where I do a lot of personal tweeting and stuff that's not even always video game related, but more about just me personally and a lot of fun stuff, as well as store stuff. So that's worth checking out. And uh, with no further ado, let's get right to it. Here at the store, things are going real good. I've gotten a lot of trade lately. Just recently, I know uh, an Xbox, a 360, Wii, uh, some, uh, a big Game Gear lot I bought recently and some other cool things. I've got so many Skylanders, I don't know what to do with them and Infinity figures, but people still buy them. So I get them when people bring them in, I buy them and I resell them because there is still a demand for them, believe it or not. I've gotten a lot of games in recently also, so been booking those and you know, that's one of the more tedious things I have to do around here. Just checking every disc, making sure it looks good. If it doesn't look good, it goes right over to the resurfacer, it gets resurfaced, then it goes back into the pile and it gets, uh, the disc goes out, it goes into the drawer, the corresponding space in the drawer gets written down in the case. So if it's like number 690, it goes in, or number 3240, it goes in the, the actual case. And that's what goes on the wall. When someone buys it, they bring it to me, I look at the number, I put it in the case, and I sell it to them. So it's just tedious when you have a big stack of games and you're going through all of them and you have to get every one of them into a you know, a sleeve and it's just, I hate that time consuming petty stuff. I, I like the business of selling games and trading games, but all, it's all the stuff in between that that is really getting monotonous for me, but I guess it's been that way for years, so who am I to complain? And of course there's uh, news about that Scene 75 that's gonna be opening up right next door to me here in the mall. Gonna be a really awesome thing to have right next door. I've been keeping up with uh, some of the guys who come into the store every now and then. Uh, there's guys who work over there doing some of the construction for Scene 75. And they walk into the store, they check things out, I small talk with them. I know some guys who were working on some of the AC units on the roof came in not too long ago. They had these huge cranes out there and they were putting giant AC units on top of the building. And I guess they're counting for lots of people and I guess they have to do some kind of new uh, maybe exhaust or 
you know, air, air filtration system of some sort. I know they're gonna have go-karts and stuff in there, so I don't know how that works on an indoor place, but I assume there's some kind of fumes or whatever, unless they're electric. I don't know. But as this all progresses, I'm sure I'll see more and more and I'll learn more and more. I also uh, got to peek my head in recently and I saw what they were doing in there and I grabbed my phone and I took some video footage. You can see they've gutted the whole place and it's, I guess, getting ready for them to start construction inside. We'll see soon. I don't know if they'll be open like by the holiday or something. Maybe maybe in the, going into next year, 2019, we'll see something more. Or who knows, maybe they'll have this crazy construction thing on point and they'll get in there and actually be able to knock it out before the holiday. I don't know. Uh, no one seems to have an actual date for me, but as I learn, I'll let you guys know. And I will give you a quick store tour and let you see what's going on around here. And then I'll get back with you and close this video out. That's it for now guys hey thanks for watching i really do appreciate it and as i said at the beginning of the video if you like this video please do like it subscribe if you haven't already and hit that bell icon so you'll get updates when i release videos in the future you can check me out on wednesdays when i do my psvr stream which is always fun you can follow me on twitter at l1 games and you can check me out on facebook at l1 games as well and that's it for now so thanks for watching i'll see you all soon This is some uh, bonus footage right here. One of my guilty pleasures is watching uh, crazy videos on YouTube. Bounty Hunter D right now. And for lunch, this is what I do when I'm eating my lunch. That's uh, pierogies and chicken tenders, all cold, not reheated. Doused in sriracha and barbecue sauce. Yeah.